finally we made it, all the way to the Bahamas. The crystal clear waters stretch to over 700 islands. We arrive in Bimini Island. After its inhabitants were deported and enslaved in the 18th century, pirates used the deserted islands to capture Spanish ships traveling from South America to Europe. I cannot believe we are in the Bahamas, babe. Finally, I think I had uh, 15 or was it 16 hours of solid sleep. We have not moved off the anchorage. We are not going to move off the anchorage. We're going to stay here another day because we are tired. And um, me and Elena are just running to shore. We're going to try and find the internet and try and fix this computer because it's playing up. And uh, we can keep making movies for you guys. So we've just snuck into a resort via stealth mode in the dinghy and we're uh, we're making our way towards some sort of shops or what we think is going to be some free Wi-Fi and we'll be laughing. Righto, we are next to the casino and that's the whole reason the island is built around this one little resort with a closed facility and a gate to get in and out. It's so that you uh, can come to the casino and spend your money. Built around gambling and obviously they put a lot of money back into it. You've got a beautiful Beautiful complex over here, which is the casino. They've built canal houses, you rent a house, you can bring your own boat from Miami. Game fishing, you've got a stage over here. Obviously they do concerts. Everything is absolutely immaculate. After visiting the tourist area, we decide to go and check the local. Everyone just in golf carts, cruising around, doing their thing. We decided to walk. Apparently it's $50 a day for a golf cart. That's seven miles long the island. And we're stuck on a boat, so how do you feel about walking? Yeah, it's good. It's a bit bouncy though, isn't it, with a camera? <laughs> Sorry about the bouncing, but we've got to make time here. Oh, there's a boat that didn't make it through the last hurricane. We came across a local cafe called Tropics. The internet was 10 out of 10. Hit up a bit of uh, lunch yesterday at Tropics restaurant. Cafe. We've got ourselves a nice plate of food. And it's like a little corner store. It's just on the road. And then you've got Sharika in here. Hi. Who's absolutely killing it. Hi there. And uh, this is Tropics. And how long have you had Tropics for? Three years now. Tropics is awesome. All right, so we're going to try the uh, try the lunch, and yes. we'll report back. Yes. And I recommend this is the place to come for lunch the place, the place. when you're in Bimini. Tropics. Yes, it is the best. Sharika insisted on driving us around the island in her golf cart. Throughout the Bahamas, there's many local jetties where you tie your dinghy up. The majority of the seafood there is conch, a local crustacean found on the bottom of the ocean, and it's like a sea slug inside. The shells are beautiful, but mostly they just discard them. We took the dinghy to the south side of the island. We checked out the canals, the majority of which were empty. But many of the homes were owned by Americans as holiday houses. And a couple of local iguanas too. When exploring the island, we came across this boat. She's obviously been here for quite some time. And this is the result of a hurricane. Washed her oh, up look, on the shore. Just come off. And absolutely devastating. We've uh, decided to have a look at some, well, what we think is ruins. Percy Cavill's Conk House, yeah. 
famed Australian swimmer Percy Cavill built the house you see here back in the early part of the 1920s. Well, she's still here. We've just gone for a lap around the island. Left the dinghy tied up to a big hunk of steel, which is attached to a house that is abandoned right on the coast, as they all are. Now we've got to drag it back down the outgoing tide and shoot back to Añejo. With our visas sorted, we left Bimini and headed towards the Berry Islands. First stop, Chubkey. While Andy and Elena are having a time out, I decided to keep busy and caught us a fish for lunch. Except this time, it wasn't a very good eating one, so we let it go. We're over here at Chub K. We just got here this morning. And it's almost like a mining camp out the back here. This green building here is called the Naughty Rooster, and that at the moment is the bar and cafe. And then we've got more staffing accommodation over this side. And it's all built on these gravel roads. And just where the marina is ahead of us, I'll show you the clubhouse. They're obviously getting it ready for a, a big influx of rich people. They've injected a hell of a lot of money in the clubhouse. Made it look fantastic. Perfectly manicured gardens and beautiful holiday houses. Not much money being spared around here. Beautiful big Marlin statue. Right out onto the jetties. We are so stoked. We just uploaded this video in half an hour and um, we're just about to do the subtitles for you guys, especially you Frenchies. And um, we hope you guys like it. It's a uh, work in progress, trying to get these videos done on the boat. We're learning how to do it still. We spent the night at Chub Key, but with not much to see and do, and being a private island, we thought it was time to move on. So we headed to Hoffman Key, and what a good decision that was. We travelled through the shallows on the western side of the island. It took us a couple of extra days, but the scenery was spectacular. So we've made it, and we had our issues today. We had. Uh, we had smoke in both engine bays. We've got some burnt out electrical issues. And basically, I replaced some fuses today to get our alternators to, uh, to start working because we haven't had them working doing their job. Did that, they were working, and then all of a sudden, start the motors, do a mile, and boom, smoke in both engine rooms. So something there is an issue, is what it is. I'm, I'm tired of caring about issues because it's gonna happen. If you buy a boat, you're gonna have an issue. 10.30, I think it's Monday. Is it? Sunday. Isn't it? Sunday. Sunday, Monday. And we had a fuel blockage on our uh, starboard engine, so we had to drain the, the tank, and to do that, there's like a, well, there's this, which is supposed to be in the tank. <laughs> so we undid it? Uh, attempted to undo it, and now <laughs> it's, it's come away in our hands. Or something's happened. <laughs> And all the fuel is trying Which to enter the bilge. It's not a good thing because that means a fuel tank now is leaking lots. So I've put my finger over it for 20 minutes. We've got the grinder out. Andy made up a temporary bung out of a wine cork. Uh, it's jammed in there for the moment, it's slowing the flow down. We think it's quite funny. We're in the middle of nowhere, not a, any civilization in sight. Thanks. Not too sure what we're going to do. Um, we're, we're continuing with our fuel solutions. We're just running through an inventory of, of parts and talking about the, the thousands of dollars that were spent on tools prior to departing. And I thought, it's a bit ridiculous. Vice grips, I would recommend three to four pairs, maybe six if you really want to. <laughs> At least one. Let's not muck around here because I was just discussing if Andy and Alem would like a hot dog um, with onions and barbecue sauce and mustard from the Bunnings. And if anyone wants a can of Coke with it, I'll just pop over and get some more tools because we have not seen a person for over 24 hours, a boat, anything to do with civilization, and you cannot buy anything. Whatever you have on your boat is what you have. 
And if you haven't got it, you're stuffed. Because if we didn't even have the basics of tools, we wouldn't be going anywhere. Snapped off fitting out of the tank and put that one in. And then a bit of that hose over there, onto a bit of this hose over there, onto this new valve that we found, which gives us the ability, a couple of bits of hose, a couple of bits of hose clips. As we arrived at the Hoffman K, a small uninhabited island, we were eager to see its world famous 600 feet wide and 20 feet deep blue hole. Just come around the corner here at the Berry Kays to a little island group and uh, we've just bumped into Sailing La Vagabond's catamaran, the Ultramer. So we're, uh, we're going to swing past and uh, throw him a jar of Vegemite and uh, we're going to go visit this blue hole. Saturday morning, jumped out of bed and put on my best suit. Got in my car and raced like a jet all the way to you. Knocked on your door with heart in my head to ask you a question. Cause I know that you're an old fashioned man. That was worth buying a catamaran for. times like these, in times like those, what will be will be, and so it goes, and it always goes on and on and on and on and on, on and on and on and on and on it goes. We've seen uh, an object drifting along, so we're now a couple of miles out, making very slow progress, and we almost have our target in sight. Not only are we cleaning up the ocean, but we are adding great treasures to Anyeho. Right, oh, no, we found our objects. Three. boys tied together so we are doing the right thing by the ocean and taking them out of the ocean no littering here defenders for Anyaho. oh yeah, yeah. And the boys just drop us a fish yeah. over this afternoon that's Got dinner oh, I think uh, awesome we're gonna head back and yeah what are you up to yeah, yeah. Uh, about an hour ago, we had a dinghy roll up at the back of the boat. Uh, it was David and Riley and they shot a mutton snapper and got a couple of crayfish and the decision was made that we were going to do a pizza night with some uh, some fried fish on our boat. So everyone's just gone home to have a shower and they're heading over here now. Elen's made a uh, heap, of, heap of bases for the pizza, chopped up some ingredients. We have almost no cheese, but we're going to make it work and it uh, should be good. Righto, we've woken up after our beautiful pizza night with the boys and all of us at the same time have pulled anchor. And we've gone our separate ways. It's a bit of a moment for us, but it was very nice company we had for a couple of days and we thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. So thank you, boys. Join us next week, where we head to the Abaco Islands in search of more blue water. Thanks for watching. Big thanks to all our YouTube subscribers, Instagram followers, and of course, our patrons. We cannot thank you enough. If you...